this is, son. This is the third day without no TV. When you gonna get it fixed? As soon as you start taking them exercise classes? How come you ain't sitting in your chair? Because that's my television watching chair. And I ain't gonna sit in it till I'm watching television. <laughs> All right, do the suit yourself. Wait a minute. I said that is my television watching chair. Now, you sit down somewhere else. I'm sitting here. Hey, man, why don't you stop acting like a two-year-old? You're just doing this to try and get out of taking those exercises. No, I ain't, son. It's because I miss my loved one. What are you talking about, Pop? I love Lucy, and I love Miss Kitty, and, and Josephine the plumber, and, 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 that, and, that, and that girl with the full figure who don't believe she's wearing a girdle. And, and, and that weird, that weird guy who's always in a supermarket squeezing toilet paper. <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Sanford. Mr. Sanford, how are you? How you doing, Hoppy? What's up? Well, I'm on my dinner break, Fred, and uh, I know you usually watch the Hollywood Squares about now. <clears throat> yeah, usually. <laughs> anyway, my idol, the Honorable Mr. Jack Webb, is making his debut tonight. <laughs> he'll, he'll be sitting on top of Karen Valentine. <laughs> if you want to see your idol tonight, the great Jack Webb, then you'd have to go somewhere and pick him up and bring him over here and fold him up real small and shove him in the TV if you want to see him. Holy cow, what happened here? This is a 206. This is malicious damage. I'm going to have to initiate a step-by-step -step investigation. All right, let's start from the beginning. Uh, who did it? Well, it was an accident, but we're not getting it fixed. See, my pop is supposed to start taking exercises, but he can't stop watching television. I can give it up anytime I get ready. I just ain't been ready. Now, you said you could give it up any time you wanted to. That is a bad sign. Well, what do you mean, Hoppy? Well, I've been reading this pamphlet recently entitled, How to Recognize an Alcoholic. You don't know how to recognize an alcoholic? <laughs> well, when you see a guy trying to put his shoe on over his head, he's an alcoholic. Well, that's not what it said in the pamphlet. It said the one sure sign to recognize an alcoholic is if a man says he can give up drinking any time he wants to, but he doesn't. Now, that is you, Mr. Sanford. That's you. Hey, wait a minute, Hoppy. Pop, Pop's not an alcoholic. I know. He's a teleholic. <laughs> hooked on television. That's your opinion. And you have a right to your opinion. Now, may I give you mine? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait a minute, Pop. I think Hoppy's right, man. You, you, you get depressed if you don't watch television. Yeah, maybe you're right, son. I think he is right, Mr. Sanford. You've got to stop hitting the tube. <laughs> He's right, Pop. I mean, there's no difference between you and a, a person that's hooked on cigarettes or alcohol. You're an addict, Pop. You're a TV addict, Jack. Uh, you got a peacock uh, on your back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh. Oh, no, I'm at it. Oh, do you hear that, Elizabeth? <laughs> I'm coming to join you, honey. I'm hooked on color television. Oh, honey, it won't be hard to recognize me. I'll be the one with the bird on my back. 